What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a little bit of a chat about some exclusive and awesome Digimon TCG stuff, which has gone up on Premium Bandai. Although, right at the beginning, and I do think this needs to be pointed out nice and early, Premium Bandai exists for you lovely folks that don't live where I live. Specifically, you lovely folks over in the US. If you live outside the US, these products are going to be sold in stores. And my advice to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen, very simply is don't hang around. Go and message your local game store today. Go and make sure that they are going to be getting these in. And go and make sure you've got your pre-order in. We all know what happened with the Tamers Evolution box, the first one where not a huge amount was sent out to all of the stores and we ended up in an awkward situation where a lot of people weren't actually able to get hold of them and a bunch of people missed out and that was very sad. I, on the other hand, the moment this was revealed, got in touch with the lovely folks over at Millibolds Gaming and I was like, hey, 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 you getting them in, you getting them in. And after a while, they were getting them in. And because I was one of the first people that got in touch with them, they made sure they had one set aside for me. Make sure you do that, ladies and gentlemen, unless you live in the US. If you live in the US, make sure you are going on to Premium Bandai and pre-ordering these if you so wish. Because the first thing we need to talk about is the Digimon card game Playmat and Card Set 2 Floral Fun. Now, this is one of these ones that was released in a folder over in Japan, a lovely promotional set, and this is even better than it was in Japan. Because in Japan, they got these eight cards in a little binder, and that was lovely. It was a cool set. Here, we get the eight cards that clearly make up part of an image, and we get a playmat of the image. Tell me you don't want this. I mean, quite frankly, if you're watching this video and you don't want this, then either you're probably watching the wrong video, but please don't leave, I'm delighted you're here, or you're just not a fan of the artist. And incidentally, right, if you're looking at this going, Wossy, I'm sorry, I love Digimon, I'm just not a fan of this particular artist, that's absolutely fine, we all have different tastes in art, it's completely subjective. I think this is absolutely beautiful and wonderful, I love it. And the fact that we're getting a playmat with the artwork on as well, I think is such a lovely, lovely touch. I am absolutely delighted. I could not be happier about it. So what we get here, as well as a playmat, is eight alternate art reprint cards. And like they tend to do, Bandai and Digimon and all of that, like they tend to do, what they've done is they've given us reprints. And I think this is absolutely wonderful because it means that if you love the artwork or you're a big collector and you want to fill out your binder or things of that nature, you can pick them up. And if you're only interested in playing, you can ignore them. I think I've made it pretty clear on this channel and my other channel, PTCG Radio, where we talk Pokemon. I am not a fan of good exclusive promo cards because it makes the game harder to play. Beautiful exclusive promo cards, which are reprints. Oh, I'll take them all day long. So what we've got then is the Tentamon from Starter Deck 4. When you play it, you reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a green card, you add it to your hand. Otherwise, you place it at the bottom of your deck. If you are playing a proper green deck, you should be able to make this. So even though it's not guaranteed, it is very, very, very likely that you will draw a card here. And that's pretty gosh darn good. The Patamon from Starter Deck 3 on your turn, once per turn, as an inheritable skill. When an opponent's Digimon is deleted by being dropped to zero power, gain a memory. Bearing in mind, right, that is kind of Yellow's favourite thing to do. Now you're gaining a memory when you do it. Sounds kind of fun to me. The Gomamon, which was promo 4, one of the very first promo cards we ever saw. On your turn, once per turn, as an inheritable skill, when you trash your Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon, go and gain yourself a memory. Now again, trashing Digivolution cards, this is exactly the kind of thing that blue decks like to do so much. You're telling me that I'm getting a memory while I do that? 
This is, of those original first half dozen promo cards, this is the best one, the most sought after one among them. This is one that still sees a huge amount of play. Now you tell them they're reprinting it with awesome artwork. That sounds pretty cool to me. We've got the Beamon from the very first starter deck. The one, I mean, look, it's a two cost to play level three. And that's it. That's the hook. It is a level three Digimon that you can play for two cost. But as we've seen over and over again since the very, very first days of the game, two cost to play Digimon, you don't get many of them. You get a few vanilla level threes in each color and that's it. And they are super good cards for building up your board. So yeah, Beamon's pretty cool. We've then got the Palmon from Starter Deck 4. When you are attacking, if you are attacking an opponent's Digimon, not the opponent, you get an extra 2,000 power for the turn. Certainly in piercing decks, where you are looking to attack Digimon, but then, you know, parlay that into getting rid of some security cards as well. That seems pretty good. We've got the Agamon from BT1. When you play it, you reveal five cards from the top of your deck and add a Tamer card to your hand. If you're playing a Tamer heavy deck, and some red decks absolutely are, this seems like the kind of thing we can get on board with. This seems like a pretty gosh darn cool Agamon. We've got the Gatamon from BT2. That when you play it, if you have a purple Digimon in play, one of your opponent's Digimon loses 4,000 power for the turn. But when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you gain 3,000 power for the turn. Nice little pair of skills. And the awesome Gabumon from BT1 that draws a card when you play it that we've seen in so many blue and or rookie rush decks since it was released. Not all of these are absolutely stunning staple cards. But certainly things like the Gomamon and the Gabumon are ones that are absolutely brilliant. And I've certainly played the Tentamon in a bunch of decks that Beamon sees a bunch of play. This is a decent set of promos. Not absolutely stunning, but certainly pretty cool. Now in terms of cards, that's all we're getting here. But there are a couple of other things to show you quickly as well. So that Imperial Demon Dragon Mode set that was given out in Grand Prix over in some Asian territories, that is making its debut over here. And it's a playmat and a set of sleeves. And it is a playmat and a set of sleeves which have, well, the same artwork on. So, like so many of these, it, it's a skippable kind of thing. If you like the artwork, this is brilliant. If you don't like the artwork, this is the kind of thing you should be skipping. By the way, you might notice that we're talking delivery dates here far in the future. I mean, both of the ones I've shown you so far have delivery dates of September. It's now February. The reason these have very long delivery dates is really simple. They don't want to print too many of these, but they want everyone to have a chance to get them. So the way you do that is you put them on premium Bandai, you make them to order so that you're not wasting any money. These are essentially, like I've said, these are very inessential products. Nobody needs these. So essentially they're cool products that nobody needs. They put them up, for a short period of time, over on Premium Bandai, they see how many people order, they make exactly that many, none get wasted. These are the kind of products that some companies, and certainly in the past, before we had things like Premium Bandai, a lot of companies would go, I'm not doing this, it's a cool idea, but it's too risky, we're not doing it, we don't want to lose the money. By doing it on Premium Bandai, it guarantees that they don't lose money, because they're only printing as many as are ordered, but it means that they take the orders, then they start printing, and that means that the lead time is a lot longer, and it means it takes longer to actually get to you. But if we didn't have this really long delivery date, the alternative would be we would probably never get them. So you know what? Sounds good to me. And then they print a few extra and send them to Europe and they do, and other places, and they do risk losing money on them, but they cross their fingers and hope it doesn't happen. And then finally, we've got the Digimon card game Tamers set free. This one's being delivered in June, which is slightly more reasonable to be fair. And here we've got ourselves a playmat 
and some sleeves. What is really cool here, however, is we actually get two different sets of sleeves. We've got one set of sleeves for your deck, 60 card sleeves, looks like the old cards, and then five digi egg sleeves. Now, I don't like the five digi egg sleeves, I've made this point a lot. 60 sleeves for a 50 card deck, yay, I can break a few, that's fine. Five sleeves for a five card digi egg deck, second you break one, it's all over, ladies and gentlemen, you have been warned. But I adore this playmat. This playmat is absolutely full-on proper job, over-the-top, beautiful. This is one of the coolest playmat designs I've seen. I know it's just a whole bunch of stock Digimon images thrown together, and I shouldn't like it as much as I do. Sorry. I do. I think it's really cool. So this is one. Uh, the Imperial Digimon Dragon Mode, I'm probably going to be skipping. This one, I don't think I'm going to be. Obviously, the floral fun one with all the cards I'm definitely getting. It's got promo cards in. I'm only human. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you live in the US, might I suggest you pop onto these. Two of them are scheduled to end on the 23rd of February. The Floral Fun is running until March the 31st. But there is a note on all of them. The pre-order period for this item may end suddenly if the maximum order limit is reached. In this case, pre-order cancellation will no longer be available and you can't order anymore. Yes, they're making it to order, but there's still a limit. They can't print 11 billion of these. So if you are planning on ordering these, I, I don't think any of them have sold out yet. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong about that. But personally, I still wouldn't risk it. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Really cool stuff coming out. Really cool products. If you are over in the US, get onto Premium Bandai sooner rather than later. If you're not, get in touch with your local game store in the hope they get them in soon. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about these. I want to know which of these you're excited about. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.